Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to continue balancing chemical equations. Please remember that for balancing chemical reactions, we need to apply one simple method. Again, we have several methods you may learn and you may apply to solve your problems. In this video, I'm going to focus on combustion reactions. Assume that we have hydrocarbons, and we have combustion reactions. When we say hydrocarbon, I'm sure you remember that we have hydrogen and carbon in the formula, like this example, CH4 plus O2. Reaction of one hydrocarbon, the simplest hydrocarbon, methane with oxygen. Always products of hydrocarbon and oxygen combustion reaction are CO2 and H2O. They also produce heat, but I don't want to confuse you because we are going to balance their equation. CH4 plus O2 are going to write the products CO2 and H2O. Whenever you are going to balance the reaction, please remember our methodology. Metals, non-metals, hydrogen, oxygen and we do not have metals any metals in this reaction so always we start with non-metal our non-metal is carbon atom so always we start with carbon one carbon one number of hydrogens four we have two here so we multiply by two two times two four and lastly we are going to balance oxygen number of oxygen please look here for oxygen, on the left side, we have only two carbon atoms, sorry, two oxygen atoms. On the right side, in CO2, we have two oxygen. We have two oxygen. Plus, in H2O, in H2O, we have one oxygen, but we have this coefficient as well. It means we have two oxygen atoms on the H2O compound. Two oxygen from this compound and two oxygen from that compound. Totally we make four oxygen atoms on the right side. So if I multiply by two, I am going to make four oxygen atoms on the left. So we are going to double check everything to make sure it is balanced. One carbon, one, four hydrogens, two times two, four. Number of oxygen, two times two, four, two oxygen here, plus two oxygen here, four. Four on the right, four on the left. So this is a balanced chemical reaction. Another example I may ask you to work on C2H6 plus O2. We are going to balance this reaction. Another hydrocarbon, we have combustion reaction. Products CO2 and H2O. I'm going to balance this reaction. First, carbon atom. Two carbon. I multiply by two. Six. I'm sure you are going to multiply by three. Write the number of oxygen. Let me highlight the oxygen atoms on the left. So, I'm sure you say two oxygen on the left. How about oxygen on the right? How about oxygen on the right? Here we have two oxygen, but it's going to multiple by two. Look, two multiple by two. So we have four oxygen atoms here. Plus, another oxygen, another oxygen is coming from H2O. Three H2O. It means we have three oxygen atoms three oxygen atoms totally on the right side we have seven oxygen on the left we have two even and odd numbers you just need to switch seven should be written here and two must be written here but look here we do have coefficients here we have a couple coefficients available here Whenever you are going to apply that one, you need to multiply 
you need to multiply by the available coefficients. 2 times 2 means 4. 2 times 3 means 6. I'm going to count number of oxygen to make sure it is balanced. 7 times 2, 14. 4 times 2, 8. Plus 6. 6 and 8 totally make 14. So oxygen already balanced. Last step, you just need to look at the other elements. Every single element in the formula in the reaction must be balanced. I start with carbon. Two carbon, four carbon. So we need to multiply by two. Two times two, four, four. Carbon is balanced. Hydrogen, two times six, twelve. Six times two, twelve. And I ask you to balance oxygen to make sure you have the same number. Four times two, eight, plus six, fourteen. Seven times two make fourteen. So let me give it to you another example to make sure you are able to solve that one. CH, C8, H18, plus O2. CO2 plus H2. This is the formula of a compound. You pay for that one in gas station per gallon. So I can now make sure that you are able to balance this equation correctly. You may pause this video and after 30 seconds, I'm sure you already balanced this reaction. Look, 8 carbon. You multiply by 8. 18 hydrogens. What number? 9. Number of oxygen. 2 oxygen on the left. On the right, 8 times 2, 16 plus 9. 9 from H2O. 9 H2. 16 and 9 make 25. So I have to check 2 as even number, 25 as odd number, even and odd. We switch the numbers. I'm going to write 25 here and 2 for each of these compounds because oxygen coming from them. 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 9, 18. Double check, double check to make sure oxygen is balanced. 25 times 2, 50. 16 times 2, 32 plus 18. Totally, we may have 50. Right now, double check every single element available in the reaction. 8 carbon, 16. So I multiply by 2. 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 18, 36. 18 times 2, 36. And I'm sure oxygen is balanced. Last example I may ask you to work on is one of the most famous example here. C6, H12, O6 plus O2. It gives us CO2 and H2. I'm sure you are familiar with this reaction. Just wanted to make sure you can easily get that one. So how they are similar to the hydrocarbons. This one is not the hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon means we have carbon and hydrogen. This one, we call that carbohydrate. I don't want to confuse you. Assume that we have this example and we are going to balance it. C6, six carbon multiplied by six. 12 hydrogens, I have to multiply by 6. 6 times 2, 12. Number of oxygen, please look. Please look here. Number of oxygen, oxygen coming from two different compounds. From two different compounds. Like on the right side, oxygen coming from two different compounds. 6 times 2, 12 plus 6, we have 18. But before working on, I'm going to give it you a hint. Please look here. 
6 oxygen. Here we have 6 oxygen. 12 oxygen. If I'm going to make 12 oxygen here, it looks this is a balance. Please look. 6 oxygen. 6 oxygen. 6 times 2, 12. 6 times 2, 12. So number of oxygen on the left and right is balanced. But technically, whenever we have like this example, we need to learn some other methods. But as you remember that, I told you we are going to focus on simplest possible method to work on. So right now, I'm going to double check. 6 carbon, 6 carbon. Number of hydrogen, 12, 12. Number of oxygen, 6 plus 12, 18. 6 times 2, 12, plus 6, 18. Oxygen is balanced. So, just wanted to review combustion reaction for hydrocarbons and this one as additional information for this example. Right now, as a final example, I'm going to ask you to please balance this reaction. Please balance this reaction. C4, H10, plus O2, it gives us CO2 and H2. If you are going to balance that one, 4 for carbon atoms, 5 for hydrogen, because we are going to make 10 hydrogen atoms. Number of oxygen, 2. 4 times 2, 8, plus 5, totally 13, I multiply by 13, 13 times 2, 26, so we have even and odd numbers, we wrote 13 here, we have to apply the even numbers here, 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 5, 10, count number of oxygen so 13 times 2 26 8 times 2 16 plus 10 10 and 16 26 right now double check other elements 4 carbon 8 we multiply by 2 as you see here this is like a template 2 times 4 8 8 2 times 10, 20, 10 times 2, 20, 13 times 2, 26, 16, and 10, 26. Guys, I just wanted to focus on combustion reaction and see if we have a variety of number of carbon and hydrogen atoms. You can easily balance the equation without any difficulty. Thank you for watching this video as well.